Good morning, everyone. Bienvenidos this blessed Friday morning. I'm going to share the spoken written word of our God. This scripture was, it's really the whole chapter of Isaiah 51 that Lord Father, through his holy, amazing, gracious spirit, brought light to me. I love the book of Isaiah. I know that a lot of my shares, I, I grab scriptures from Isaiah. But this one's not a breakdown. I'm just going to read the whole thing. It needs no breakdown. It's the spoken written word of our God loves. And I'm going to share it again. All glory to Abba Father. In the name of his son Jesus. Of our Lord Jesus. This is the spoken written word of our God loves. Uh, before I go in, I'm going to try to... Uh, make sure that I can finish this uh, video. Forgive me. Um, I'm using my cell phone. Uh, Isaiah 51, uh, verses 1 through... Sixteen, and I, I'm going to make another video to finish, um, to continue uh, fifty-one, and it, and this is the spoken written word, loves, and it states, "Listen to me, you who follow after righteousness, whose righteousness loves, who completed." Who completed the law at the cross? That's Lord Jesus. So he says, listen to me. Listen to Abba Father. You who follow after Lord Jesus. You who seek the Lord. Look to the rock from which you were hewn. Chopped off from. Grafted from. This is us, loves. If we're, if we're the ones choosing to follow righteousness, to follow Lord Jesus, then this is who he's speaking to. Abba Father is telling, listen to me. You who follow after righteousness, you who seek the Lord, look to the rock from which you were hewn. You were cut off from this rock, from this amazing rock, which is Lord Jesus. And to the hole of the pit from which you were dug, from the sins loves from the the darkness from where we were at he's letting us know he pulled us out pulled us out of that sinful darkness look to abraham your father and to sarah who bore you for i called him alone he called abraham alone and blessed him and increased him, increased him with generations, loves. We are those generations. For the Lord will comfort Zion. We are Zion in the eyes of our God, love. We are in the eyes of God, of Abba, Father God. So Lord Father tells us, for the Lord will comfort and he will comfort all her waste places. That's everyone that has fallen into sin. Anyone who was dug out of that pit, we that's a comfort. We will, he will comfort comfort all her waste places. He will make her wilderness like Eden. This is a kept promise. Loves no more worrying. Let things pass. Let them, let them be as they are written. If it is written as Lord Jesus says, they have to pass. So he will make her wilderness like Eden. That's a that's a kept promise, loves. And her desert like the garden of the Lord. Picture that, love. Joy and gladness will be found in it. Thanksgiving in the voice of melody. Listen to me, my people. Abba Father saying, listen to me. My people, we're his people. And give ear to me, O oh my nations, for law will proceed from me. Law will proceed from Abba, Father, God loves, through the spoken written word, through his righteous Son, Lord Jesus loves. And I will make my just, 
rest as a light of the peoples. That's his light. Who is the light of the world? His son, his righteous beloved son. My righteousness is near. The essence of our Lord Abba Father God loves is near to us in our heart because we choose. We choose to follow this righteousness through his son. So he's saying in verse 5, my righteousness is near. My salvation has gone forth and my arms will judge the peoples. The coastlands will wait upon me. Coastlands, love. What is a coastland? It's an island. It's a piece of land surrounded by water. He, Abba Father uses this as the example. The coastlands will wait upon me. Meaning we separate ourselves from this world. We, see, we, we plant ourselves in the midst of his spirit, in the midst of his, in, in, of his word as a coastland, and we wait upon him, loves. We, we don't surround ourselves around the world. We act like a land, like an island, like an island, loves, and we wait upon, upon him. And on my arm, they will trust. We will trust upon him, and only him, loves. Lift up your eyes to the heavens, it states, and look on the earth beneath. That's the sight, loves. We're up above. Look up and look at the... It says, lift up your eyes to the heavens and look on the earth beneath. For the heavens will vanish away like smoke. The earth will grow old like a garment. And those who dwell in it will die in like manner. But my salvation will be forever. We all will die one day. But Abba Father's salvation will be forever. Why? Because we sought out this righteousness through his son. Loves. It's a kept promise. It's why he says, I comfort you. There's that comfort. Let's not worry. And those who dwell in it will die in like manner. But my salvation will be forever. And my righteousness will not be abolished. This, this is a key love. And Abba Father's righteousness will never be abolished. It will not go away. That righteousness will stay righteous, loves, in our lives if we stay connected to Abba Father through His Son. Verse 7, listen to me, you who know righteousness. How do we know righteousness? Listen to me, you who know Lord Jesus, my son. This is, this is the word of our God. He's saying, listen to me, you who know righteousness, who know my son, you people in whose heart is my law. In our heart, we hold Lord Jesus loves. We hold him in our, so he's saying, listen to me, Abba Father, who you who know righteousness, you people in whose heart is my law, do not fear the reproach of men. That's key to what's happening right now, loves. He's telling us, don't you fear the reproach of, of men, the men of this world, loves, nor be afraid of their insults. Don't be afraid of what they're doing or what they're saying. This is key, verse 7, Isaiah 51, verse 7. Take it to heart, loves. Do not fear the reproach of men, nor be afraid of their insults. For the moth will eat them up like a garment. You, you take heed, loves. And the worm will eat them like wool. They will pay, loves. Men that reproach us, because we are the chosen people of our God. But my righteousness, Abba Father's righteousness, will be forever. And my salvation from generation to generation. That is a kept promise, loves. A kept promise from Abba Father God for all of us. Generation to generation. So verse 9, he states, awake, awake. Put on strength. Where do we grab our strength? Abba Father is our strength, loves. 
oh arm of the Lord. See, we're, we're holding on to Abba Father. That's his strength. He's holding on to his people, his children, awake as in the ancient days. In the generations of old, are you not the arm that cut Rahab apart and wounded the serpent? It's, it's, it's a question. Is he not that arm? Yes, he is. Is he not that wounded the serpent? Yes, he is, loves. The answer is yes. So his arm is our strength. Verse 10, are you not the one who dried up the sea? Abba Father is yes. He parted the ocean. The waters of the great deep. Yes, that's who he is. That made the depths of the sea a, a road for the redeemed of cro to cross over yes he parted the red sea loves so he is that god so the ransom of the lord shall return and come to zion with singing with everlasting joy on their heads on our heads loves they shall obtain joy and gladness sorrow and sighing shall flee away this is the spoken written word of our God loves. Verse 11, so the ransom of the Lord shall return. The ransom loves. You can, you can even put Lord Jesus of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing with everlasting joy on their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness. No more worrying loves. No more. They shall obtain joy and gladness. Sorrow and sighing shall flee from them. Let's not worry of what's happening around this world. Let's wait upon our Lord Father to redeem us in the way it is written. And we, for us not to worry, to find this comfort in Him. I, this is Abba Father, I, even I, am he who comforts you. There it is, loves. Who are you that you should be afraid? He's telling us, who are we that we should be afraid of a man who will die? To men. He's saying, who are we to be afraid? Are we, are we not the sons of the living God? That's what he's saying. This is verse 12. I, this is Abba Father, even I am he who comforts you. Who are you? Why should we be afraid of, of a man that will die and of son of man who will be made like grass? That, that's, that's heavy loves, but that's a kept promise. That's a question that Abba Far says, you're afraid of them? You have me. He's saying, you have me. I'm your God. He parted the sea. He's our rock and our strength, loves. Verse 13, and you forget the Lord your maker who stretched out the heavens. When we, we allow this anxiety, this fear, these worries that these mere men put upon us with their ridiculous laws and, and heavy burdens. Well, let's, let's turn to Abba Father loves and he's, he's telling us and you forget the Lord your maker who stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth. You have feared continually every day. See, he already knew that we were going to be the way that some of us are acting. No, loves. Verse 13, he's telling us. He says, you have feared continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor. When he has prepared to destroy. And where is the fury of the oppressor? We have Abba Father. Again, this reads... Present tense, loves. This is verse 13. Abba Father knew already where these people, these mere men, were going to have us now during this time. But he's saying, I'm your comforter. I hold you with his righteous right hand. He's our strength, loves. Verse 13, take, take heed of it. The captive exile hastened that he may be loosed, that he should not die in the pit and that his bread should not fail. The captive exile hastens that he may be loosed, 
that he should not die in the pit. That that's a kept promise that he will not allow these oppressors. Now, it, it, listen, and that his bread should not fail. He will continue to provide for us loves, no matter what, because of the oppression that th these mere men have caused these last few months. Abba Father will keep his word and his bread shall not fail. His provision shall not fail, loves. That's a kept promise. But I am the Lord your God who divided the sea, whose waves roared. And the Lord of hosts is his name. Love, heed the word, the spoken written word. No more worries, no more anxiety. Shake it off, hold on. We are hewn. We are cut from the same rock Lord Jesus did. And that's our Abba Father. Verse 15, he's telling us already, but I am Lord your God. There's no one besides our God loves no one above our God who divided the sea whose waves roared, the Lord of hosts is his name. And I have put my words in your mouth. These words, we take it in, loves. He says, and I have put my words in your mouth. I have covered you with a shadow of my hand that I may plant the heavens, lay the foundations of the earth. Loves, heed the spoken written word. No more worry. And say to Zion, we are Zion, you are my people. Abba, Father, is stating, I, I put my words in your mouth. Us to sh who share the word, I have covered you with the shadow of my hand. Nothing can penetrate Abba, Father's hand. We're underneath. He's holding us. He's the stretch, the stretched arm. That's, that's our strength, loves. And I have put my words in your mouth. I have covered you with the shadow of my hand that I may plant the heaven's loves, lay the foundation of the earth and say to Zion, you are my people loves. That's the spoken written word of our God. We are his people. He's not going to let us down. These are mere men. Mere men that are lost don't heed his word, not the word that comes out of these mere men that set burdens upon Abba Father's people. Again, all glory to Abba Father in the name of his son Jesus loves. I share the amazing spoken written word of our God. Study Isaiah 51. Right now, I just gave you 1 through 16, and it is powerful what he gave me today, loves. It is his strength that we seek. Smile, be joyful, sing, because he's our comforter. He's got this, loves. He, he's got this. Let's shake this off what these mere men are doing, loves. Again, all glory to Abba, Father, in the name of his son, Jesus. I share the spoken written word of our God.